<laughs> so you know I can fight? I can't say I know, but I feel like believing you. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Got the key to truth, which is basically a, uh, a boss key Okay. at this point. Love it. Let's do it. And you, you may have noticed at this point in the game that there is no uh, audible dialogue in the no. world that we're currently in. So, come on now. Well, I mean, I mean that's uh, by design of the game. Uh, this this version of the game in particular. Uh, the the only time you uh, really see uh, or hear more voice acting, uh, more cinematics is usually mm -hmm. just. Uh, in the main Castle Oblivion areas. Gotcha. Okay, come on. Okay, Donald, please do this right. Well, I mean, heal. Okay, you got one Thunder in. That's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> But how did I miss that? Well, I, I didn't lock on, to be fair. Nope. Okay. Uh, I have to not jump. Ooh. I can go all the way down here. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Me, personally, I'd like to defeat as many enemies as possible oh, yeah, just grind to it. grind on XP, and as well as get, like, a whole variety of uh, cards mm -hmm. for, uh, oh, for uh, new rooms. Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, you know me, I'm a grinder, man. I'll, I'm down with that. That's something that, like, so, uh, open world game that I was excited for this year is done, right? It's Pokemon Arceus. Arceus, Arceus, whatever, right? Love it. It's been great. Um, now, I'm looking for my next open world game. And it's not going to be Elden Ring. <laughs> I've already determined that. I, 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 as of recording, I still have only played Elden Ring once. Don't hate it though. Uh, I made it to. Uh, I, I guess for anyone who's an Elden Ring expert, I've made it to uh, Stormhill. That's that's the name of the location I remember last stopping at. Gotcha. Um, See, and I just. Like, to me, I just can't bring myself to play it. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to get frustrated with this, and then I'm going to get mad at myself for spending however much time on that game. Right? Like, or that much money on it. I mean, I'm probably not going to play a lot, unfortunately. So, I, uh, I decided, I'm like, all right, I'm going to uh, not play that game and just wait for Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, check this out. Okay. Use my shadow. Oh, no. This one. So... That, so that card I just, uh, that heartless card I just used increases, uh, -huh. uh, the value of my attack cards by one. I gotcha. And, uh, don't know if, uh, you're listening or not, but, um, the value of the cards also has, like, a certain amount of card points that right. I'm, uh, allowed to carry, uh -huh. if that makes sense. I, I don't know if this was a thing in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, like on that Game Boy Advance game uh -huh. uh, we had a long time ago. Okay. Uh, but I imagine, depending on how much experience you have, you can only hold so many cards. Was that a thing? No. Because uh, you, your deck is a standard 40, 40 cards. 40. Right. And so you can only have a certain amount with you at a time, just the 40. But like in your trunk, I guess you can have as many as you want. Just like, let me. Oh, well, the trunk, I mean, that's like obviously all of the cards that you've collected or right. you bought or you won. I'm going to pull up that game. There was some BS stuff in that game, by the way. I was really pissed off about it. Oh, let's. Okay, don't duck. Oh, oh yeah. You feel the Eternal Duelist? Was that the one? Was the cover like purple? 
Yeah, I think so. It might then it might be the same one I'm thinking of. I I uh, I think I still have. Uh, let's see if I still have my save data on that. Oh, me too. I have uh, the uh, Egyptian god cards on there, but I can't use them, unfortunately. Right, right. Um, what yes, was it? What the, was the uh, deal with um, Exodia? Like you have to have. You all have to have all five all five parts in your hand. Oh, just in your hand. You don't have to have them out in the field. Correct. Okay. Yep. I think I actually came across a video the other day. Um, I think it was like uh, an online Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh -huh. uh, an online Yu-Gi-Oh card game. And it's got like millions of views. Apparently, both sides had all five pieces of Exodia cards. Really? And uh, it resulted in a draw. That's crazy. Yeah, the Game Boy Advance one. The, uh... Let's see. Uh, Eternal Duelist Soul. I'm not sure if that's the right one. Yeah, that looks right. So with that one... Okay, so... Um... What really pissed me off is that they're like once you unlock the final tier of people to duel, right? It was like uh, the dueling robot and Pegasus, or and uh, like there's there's like the final. Was there Kaiba's little brother mm -hmm. you could duel? Yes. Uh huh. And then there was uh, like Pharaoh Adult Yugi. I believe so. I'm pulling the, the guy. I remember. Okay, that that last screen all the way to the right when you're picking yeah, an there's, opponent. Yeah, there's there's two bosses that you can never that like don't unlock. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. that really threw me off. Yeah, uh, I could never that, figure out like see. how to access that. Was it just like a special event? It was. That was how you could could uh, uh, get it. Um, it was like some kind of event that only happened right when it came out. Oh, wait, let's see. Let's see. Hello. Any heartless up down this alley? Hello. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you, boy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, I hope my uh, analog pockets come soon oh, this yeah. year. And then we could definitely play that one Yu-Gi-Oh game. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Power. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Alright, um... So this is, this is ridiculous, okay. So... Stage 2 BL, stage 1 characters, 2 times each. Stage 3 BL, stage 2 characters, 3 times each. 4, BL, 4 times each, 5. Right. Then there's, uh, um, you can unlock Yugi's Grandpa. You defeat Simon once or collect all cards. Um, really? You, Yugi's Grandpa was a secret boss? Uh-huh. Then there's, uh, you can unlock Maximilian Pegasus. Wait a minute. They don't have the, uh, oh wait. Well, I mean, I guess it would make it sense that, uh... There's the dual computer, too. I guess it would make sense that, uh, Yugi's grandpa would be a secret boss because he runs a card shop, right? Correct. Uh -huh. If I'm remembering the anime correctly. Yeah, the eternal, the eternal duelist soul. That sounds familiar. Yeah, I also one. remember with the purple, with the purple cover. I think I had. I don't think I have this anymore, but I think I had a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the PlayStation Two, and yeah. that one was more like a chessboard type of situation. Yeah, I remember. Okay, so here, here's something else. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. They started doing those dice monsters or whatever the crap that was, and then, yeah, like that checkerboard crap. The, the, the die. Wait, um. It was at the end of season one. Season one. Uh huh. What was it? You know, that. Like, I remember. Okay. Alright, let, let me let me see if I can remember the plots, at least starting from season one. Well, uh. uh first episode apparently starts off with Yugi and Kaiba 
dueling, mm-hmm. and then Yuki uses his uh, Exodio hand, uh-huh. and then uh, s- some event occurs where uh, Pegasus comes to town and steals the soul of Yuki's grandpa, and so right. he has to enter his Pegasus tournament in hopes to get his grandfather's soul back. Um, and then uh, taking that uh, boat to his island, uh, Yugi meets Weedle? Uh, it's, it's, it's a kid that likes to use bug uh, monsters it, or something. I, I can't remember his name, but... I thought Weedle was, like, in season two. Of, well, no. Oh, no, 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 Weedle was in season one. Right, right. Yeah, and, 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 then, and, and then Joey this... goes back and duels them all in Duel City or whatever in season two. Well, what I was uh, getting at was that, uh... Uh, uh, Weedle was like, Oh, hey, you got Exodio cards? Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, yeah. Can I see them? He's oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. And yeah, then the douchebag threw them off the side of the boat. Yeah. Like, douche. He either threw them or, uh, like, ripped them apart and then threw yeah. them offside. Oh, yeah, douche. Yeah, those, those are rare. Those oh, yeah. are rare. Um, and then, yeah, first person he dueled was, um, uh, Weedle. Um, and then there was, uh, Joey, and, like, he would duel against, um, what was her, well, no, actually, Yugi dueled her first, I think, I can't remember in which order, but, okay, wait, so there was Yugi, Joey, Tristan, and there was, there was a girl with them, brown hair. Uh, Mai. Mai? Uh, no, 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 sorry, it's actually on here. No, 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 no. My, my, my's a blonde. Taya. Taya, yeah. Yeah. My Valentine was uh, the hot blonde. Right. Wow. Um, there was... Oh, and there was uh, that one dude uh, with white hair, kind of similar to uh, Yugi. Yeah. Uh, he had a... What were they called? Like, Millennium... Yeah, the Millennium Ring. Yeah, Millennium... Yeah, he's Bak- Bakura. Bak- Bakura? Bakura, yeah. There was one episode where... Um, like he uh, casted like some sort of curse uh, <laughs> under all of his friends, like stealing uh, their souls. But then like Pharaoh Yugi like pops up, like, "Hey, you can't uh, take my friends away from me." That sort of thing. And we must duel. And then in the middle of the duel, like all the monster that Yugi plays is like uh, all of his friends, are like, "Oh, you guys are so tiny <laughs> down there." <laughs> yep. That was, that um, was okay, cool but uh, anyway, so moving on with the plot, really quick. Um, Do it. Okay, Kingdom Hearts plot. Then I'll get back to Yu-Gi-Oh plot. Sweet. Well, what do you know? It's Sora. Wait, what am I saying? I don't know you, but you do look like Sora. What with the spiky hair and baggy pants and who knows how many zippers you got on? Exactly. It's okay, Sid. That's my name. So, you've heard of me, eh? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Anyway, maybe you can help me out. A friend of mine's supposed to be somewhere in this castle, er, town. Got any ideas? Your friend, huh? Lately, all this town sees us heartless. Can't even take two steps without getting attacked. In fact, this plaza's the worst. Word is, a jumbo-sized heartless shows up when that bell rings. If you value your hide, you'll get out of here while the getting's good. Wars, maybe we should leave. Don't you want to see the Heartless? You know, definitely a boss that we fought before? Mm-hmm. No, we don't! The bell! <laughs> oh, be careful, Sora! Here they come. Oh, this guy. He's uh, an oldie but a goodie. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, where's the helmet? There it is. Yeah, he, <laughs> he comes in a set. He does. Okay, I'm gonna increase the value of all my cards by one super quick. Heck yeah. Gotta beef up before a boss fight. Freeze. 
I don't know if that even hits. Hey, two seconds, I gotta help you help the kids. Okay. Alright, so I will continue the Yu-Gi-Oh! plot once Ezra gets back. And then oh, Ooh, this card! This card! Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Okay. Let me heal, obviously. Let's see, uh, it was. Yeah, that's right. This card messes with the boss. Nice one, Goofy! See, Donald, why can't you uh, be like him? <laughs> oh, look at that dog. Oh, wait. Yeah. Goofy go. Miss this fight, but nothing too exciting, though. But better not miss uh, the next boss fight that's actually coming up very soon. <laughs> oh, drop my head! And heart just floats out of his throat. What did this card do? I'll have to look in a minute. Um, okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. Let's do that. Okay, uh, it's done. All right, so 20 to 23. Okay. So your friend wasn't here? No, I don't think I'll find him in this town. But he's somewhere in this castle, I just know it. Castle? Like this whole town's inside some humongous castle? Whoo, that's rich. He's probably right, Sid. We may not understand what's going on, but Sora does. We can see that reality is bigger than just this world. I wish I was that sure. You'll be okay, Sora. No matter what shape reality takes, you can handle it. I may not remember you, but I know you in my heart. Leon! Take care, Sora! I'm a little lost, but best of luck anyway. Alright, well, uh, I guess we'll go this way now. Uh, what's up? I don't have all the answers, but I had to tell you something. Your memories created this town, right? And that's what the guy who gave me the card said. If that's true, then this town is just a figment of your mind, and so are we. But you can't be a figment. You're standing right here. The town is here, too. But I'm not really me. I don't remember the things I should. And I sense things I shouldn't. Sora, beware your memories. In the journey to come, you will be faced with more illusions. 
Sometimes the shadows of your memory will deceive you. Try to lead you astray. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? I'm sorry, I'm just another illusion. The truth is out of my reach. Don't say stuff like that, it's depressing. Stay strong, Sora. Don't let the illusions distract you from what's truly important. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Heart of the Cards. It's a pretty good game. Before, you know, they threw in a bunch of dice and uh, motorcycles. You know, all that weird nonsense. Go, st stick with the OG, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, okay. Sora! Are you ready to go? Yeah, be right there. Well, I better get going. Aerith? Aerith? What about Aerith? Where did she go? I was just talking to her. Aerith left with Leon and the others, remember? Huh? You ruined us. Just standing there by yourself. Is this what she meant? And so Sora starts to get Alzheimer's. <laughs>